Okay. So, uh, number 12 says a man who is six feet tall is walking away from a spotlight. Here's the spotlight. I think labeling the spotlight as L is very strange. Or L for light, I guess. Okay. I guess that's fair. Uh, I'm going to make my spotlight look like... I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that. Here's my spotlight. You like that? Okay. Wow. Ooh, shoot me down. Joke's on you because I control your grade. <laughs> All right. There's the spotlight. This is so funny, There's the dude. Here's the wall. It's not wow. It's LL written in cursive-ish. All right. Uh, his shadow is cast on the wall. It is 40 feet from the spotlight, so that means that this entire length is 40 feet. The man is walking at a rate of four feet per second away from the spotlight. Determine the rate of change of the shadow when he is halfway to the wall. So if he is halfway to the wall, how far is he? 20 feet. Okay. So I'm going to say this is like how far he has walked. I'm going to call this X because it's a horizontal length. Does that make sense? Wall. I knew that was going to be an issue when I connected the L's like that. <laughs> Wall. Okay. Uh, this is, so this is the horizontal length. So what's the X value? 20, 20 feet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and call this Y and call this Z, just because we've been doing that so many times already. Okay, now this um, this is a right triangle, but does it sound like a typical right triangle problem? No, because we're not using the whole length, right? So at this point, we, we actually have the information to set up a proportion, because you have a big triangle with lengths. And then you have a little itty bitty triangle. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to say is that x is 20 feet. Um, I don't know what the y value is. They never told us how high the wall was. Um, we do know the rate for dx dt though, don't we? Four feet per second. Okay. Um, what else do we know? Or what else are we looking for, I guess, if you think about the letters? Do we know, we don't know the length of Y, but what do we know in relation to Y? Or what are we looking for in relation to Y? The shadow on the wall. So we're looking for dy dt. But just like not the wall itself, just the shadow. Okay. So at the point in our drawing, when the light is like at this angle right here, he has like a huge ginormous shadow. There's a shadow on the wall. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the Y D T have to do with proportion? Just because it's Because the proportion aspect of this is that we've got a big triangle and we've got a little triangle. Okay. And that's why we've got proportions. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and set up the proportion. I'm gonna say that this length x, which happens to be 20 in our specific problem, but really is a variable because it can change. You can walk back and forth. So I'm going to say the length of this side of the triangle. And actually, I'm going to go ahead. It annoys me because they drew him, but they drew him like clearly not halfway, right? Mm -hmm. Like they said he's halfway, but then when they drew the picture of him, he's not halfway. So yeah, it confused me too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and call that x. We know that x is going to be 20 for our specific instance, but I guess they did not draw the picture when he was halfway. They like drew the picture before halfway. Yes? I don't know that because it said he was halfway to the wall, uh, and the whole length of the of him to the wall was 40. So our no, <laughs> this is like they drew the picture like before he got to halfway. No, that's for the rate of change when. Yeah, it's asking for the rate of change when he is halfway. But this picture is definitely not drawn when he's halfway. So if we're going to set up the proportion, we're going to say the length of this side is related to this whole length, right? So I'm going to say that x is related to 40, right? That's the proportion. No, we're doing like seventh grade math proportions. 
Yeah, like a long time ago. And then the six relates to what? Why? Okay. So let's go ahead and cross multiply this. And our goal right now, because we don't really have an equation, we kind of have an equation we're working with. We're working with a proportion. We just want to see if we can kind of figure out what we're about to do with this. Okay? I'm going to see if it kind of comes to you as we go. Uh, what are the units on the 40? Feet. What are the units on the 6? Feet. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. So what do we get? 240, what are the units? X equals xy, okay? So think about the information we were given. We know that x needs to be 40 or 20 exactly. We know that we have a rate for dx dt, and we know we're trying to find dy dt, okay? All right, so which variable should I be isolating in this problem? The y. The y. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by x and divide by x. So the formula that I'm working with is actually based on the proportion. I'm going to say 240 over x. I just know when I start to plug numbers in that this 240 has, um, has a unit of its own. It's 240 feet squared. Okay. So this is like for this problem. If they gave me like a different distance than 20, I could use this equation again and solve. Because notice we didn't plug the 20 in to get this equation. Did you guys notice that? So we can say he's 20 feet away from the spotlight. We can say he's 10 feet away from the spotlight. We can say he's 35 feet away from the spotlight. We can use this equation every single time to do a bunch of different problems if they want to change that variable of x to a different value. Does that make sense, how we used a proportion to get here? Yeah. Okay. So now that we have the formula, what do we always do with our formulas? We take the derivative. So what's the derivative of y? dy dt, okay. Now, the way this is written right now, it's written like a quotient rule. So I'm going to rewrite this as 240. I'm remembering feet squared. And then what do I do with this x on the bottom? Okay, x to the negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and write this in parentheses just to say that 240 is actually the coefficient. I'm just keeping my units with it so I don't forget my units. Okay. All right, so we said the derivative of y was dy dt. Now if I do the derivative of this side, what do I get? Wait, wait. You bring the negative 1 to the front, right? you subtract that one. So negative 240, and we remember that 240 has a feet squared on it, x to the negative 2, negative two times, uh, because it's it's a coefficient in front of x, mm -hmm. so we just do the normal like power rule. Derivative of x is dx dt, so we need the dx dt on the end. Okay, so I'm going to clean this problem up a little bit dy dt is negative 240 feet squared divided by x squared, and then it's being multiplied by dx dt. So the hardest part of this problem was setting up that proportion. Once you set up that proportion, you are good to go through the rest of the problem. Okay? <coughs> Remind me again how I knew it was a proportion and not a Pythagorean theorem. Two triangles, small one inside of a big one. Okay. All right, so what do I do now? Yeah, I plug my stuff in, right? All right, so I have dy dt is what I'm solving for. That's negative 240 feet squared divided by 20 feet, which is being squared, times 4 feet per second. What's 20 squared? 400. So we have negative 240 feet squared. What are the units of that 400? Feet squared times 4 feet per second. 
I'm showing my work because I want you guys to see how the units are working out. So what happens with this feet squared and that feet squared? They cancel. They cancel. Okay. So Nancy, you said you plugged it all in? Yeah. What'd you get? I got negative 2.4. Negative 2.4. And what are the units? Feet per second. Feet per second. So what was that saying about his shadow? That it grows. Wait, is it growing? It decreases. It decreases. It decreases. Which makes sense, right? The further away you get from the light, then your, your shadow's going to go down, 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 down. Does that make sense? Yeah. When you're close to the light, you're blocking more of it, so your shadow is a lot bigger. When you walk away from the light, you are blocking less of the light, so your shadow is getting smaller. Okay? So um, let's go ahead and write the sentence. When he is halfway to the wall, his shadow is decreasing by 2.4 feet per second. You, so you could say his shadow was changing by negative 2.4 feet per second because that would show. Um, decreasing by the positive value okay. would work as well. Any other questions on that one? Okay, does it make sense now that we've done the whole thing? Yeah. So keep this one kind of flagged if you run into another problem where you're like, uh, kind of seems weird. Think just could it be a proportion? I don't think these proportion problems are quite as common as some of the other types. Um, I don't know that I ran into one of these last year, to be honest with you. But I just wanted, I wanted to go over it because I hadn't seen one like this recently. Okay.